Hi everyone, today we are working on a GSR 750 Suzuki and uh, today I've got a fault I'll show you now it is F FI light is on you see there and uh, the bike is still driving normal it's a bit maybe a little bit jerky sometimes instead of trying to go smoothly so uh, we're gonna put in dealer mode and we're gonna see what fault we've got there and we'll go from there to put it in dealer mode we're gonna have to remove the seat okay so this is the plug we're looking for this is where we're gonna bridge the two wires the two wires are these two here they are the only two wires on the on the sides the only one wire here and this is only for gsr 750 uh, this is a 2015 model and uh, the wires color wise if you want it is black and white and white and red i'm gonna use a simple wire with a fuse on it so we're gonna plug it in there and in there and now we're gonna put ignition on okay so we're gonna put this kill switch to off position we're gonna put ignition on and then we're gonna put this to on as you can see there is no fault even though it had the fi light we're going to unplug one of the wires and then we're going to put ignition on I'm going to put this on and I've got the FI light back on and then we're going to put that plug back in there And there you go c46 and that is our uh, exhaust control valve which it has a fault so we're gonna take it off and we're gonna make sure it's not sticking we're gonna make sure the cables are properly adjusted and we'll see what we're gonna find there so let's get to work okay <clears throat> the exhaust control valve is down here so we're going to take this away and then we're going to follow the cables and you can see the actually control modules is behind this trim here behind this uh, frame so we're going to take this plastic off See here, this cable is absolutely loose. This one is very tight for some reason. So I want to check if this valve is stuck. So I'm going to take that middle bolt out of there, which holds the cable in place. And then I'm going to slide it out. I'm going to take the cables out. And that's it and now I should be able to move this by hand but that's absolutely stuck there is no movement whatsoever in it so let me try get the spanner okay so let's try this that's all you can move that's it it's stuck there you go, that's the only movement I can make. So, that flaps there, butterfly, it's 
absolutely seized so we need to find out if we can uh, make it free again and make it move freely and afterwards we're gonna have to make adjust the cables and anything else and this is part of the actually cap so you can't get this one here you have to get the whole cut and pipes that would be expensive I guess All right let's take the slip on off and look from from uh, inside the pipe maybe you can see anything maybe Come on. yeah we're gonna put a ball scope inside we're gonna have a look maybe it's melted Okay, so now let's put the ball scope in and see where to go here. A little flap, which looks alright. Let's see our cat. Yeah, the cat looks good. Alright, so there's nothing melted around here. So it seems that these bushes here are seized, one on this side and one on the other side, there. So we need to find a way to loose, loose, make them loose again. So let's put the ignition on. So yeah, the cable did move, so we know the motor is working, which is a good thing. The only problem we've got now is this, which we need to free it and try to fix it. No, I think. So I have put the cable pretty much the same uh, height. So now we're gonna put ignition on and off. So ignition on now. So what he did, he searched for the end travels. That's what he did. So he went all the way to full, fully open 
where this uh, uh, stop and reach the stop here then go on the other side full stop and then came back in the middle so basically it's just learning its position by itself you don't have to do any other adjustment so let's do this again ignition on all the way all the way and in the middle and that's about it so now we're gonna take ignition off and we will make sure the cables are tight which you can see they are and you're gonna tie those nuts nicely nicely so let's do that now You don't have to over tie them just a bit, just they don't go anywhere. Again, check your cable. So now let's put ignition one more time to make sure it's all nice. See it? And that's it. Okay, and now all the cable are uh, tight. We are now going to start the bike. But before starting it, we're going to make sure the FR has gone off. So we're gonna put ignition on and let's see if the FRI is still on. Well, it's not, which means we have solved the problem. So all this because that little exhaust uh, throttle, butterfly, whatever you wanna call it, was uh, stuck. So we just make it loose again and as you can see, We've got uh, ourselves a fix. So now let's start it. Let's see if it starts. Oh, I need to put the clutch. Oh, I'm going. As you've seen now it's all moving moving nice and freely so that will end our video for today I hope you found this video useful and uh, thank you very much for watching if you have any questions comments leave them in the comments below and uh, I will answer them as soon as possible thank you guys and I will see you on my next video